Hello, everybody, and welcome to the very first official episode of the Outlaw Dive Podcast, otherwise known as the Divecast. I'm your host, Deputy Rust, and here with me I have my buds, All Father Caesar, Black Letters Jr., Sir Delta, Taco Berto, and We Bossed. We're your staff, and we're also your men for the night. We're going to be talking about other projects, we're going to be talking about what the dive is all about, showing off some of our future members, and asking a bunch of different questions, and also just shooting the shit. This is more of like a test thing for how the how the podcast is going to work. Yeah, true, but at the same time, it would be good to give them an idea about what this is all about, even. But also, yeah, just mainly to test the stream. It's going to be a bit rough yeah. and bumpy. But anyway, without further ado, how about we introduce some of our own members? Let's start with Sir Delta. Why, hello there, everyone. Uh, I'm sure most of you in the chat, as I see... Uh, are are familiar with me? Uh, I am Sir Delta. Can... I am Rust's editor. I'm I'm basically his right hand man for most of the shit this man comes up with. I just realized that like I had the audio on for the stream, so it might have kind of come in for a bit. It should be fine now. I mean, it was it was a bit echoey. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. It's I fixed fine. That I fixed that now, so we're good. We're good. All right, all right. Yeah, it sounded actually pretty cool. Chad it sounded really like, loves like a... you, Delta. Good lord. It was like it, it sounded very angelic. I think I like. Oh that. yeah, no. Uh, as far All right, anyway, as far as that's concerned. All right, um, continue, Delta. Yeah, I was. Um, but yes, uh, I'm I'm Russ editor. I help him with just about fucking every project the man tries to do. Um, and uh, oh well, I'm also doing some of my own shit. A few of those other projects also involving Rust to some degree or another. Yeah. yeah. Well, that is Delta. Let's go on to the next member. Let's talk about you, All Father Caesar. Hello, I'm, I'm All Father Caesar. Uh, I don't know Rust personally. I don't work for him. Uh, I don't even know the man. Uh, I'm just a farmer who's been given a bit too much power over a Discord server. I stole And him. he's fucking British. Make fun of him for being British. Not British. I'm not British. I'm not British. You smell. You smell. We kicked your ass several times. Smells like tea. We're getting. We're getting lots of woes. You can't expect me to make insult the British on the spot like that. Come on, I gotta come up with better material. Listen, listen. At least it's not the French. We can all agree on that one. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. But anyway, anyway, our father, tell us more about yourself. It's not really a lot to tell. I keep chickens. I like drawing. Uh, I like writing. That's basically what's drawn me here to the Outlaw Dive. Yeah, I, I think it's got a lot of potential. All right. That's <laughs> it, really. All right. I, I'm, I'm sorry for I'm sorry for laughing. I'm just looking at chat. Is this what having power over a bunch of people looks like? Probably yes. A little I bit. Make fun little of bit. Being British, and then it, and then the chat got spammed with like people going British. <laughs> oh Tuesday. no! This oh no! So in the in, in the fucking high midnight server, this is also just a giant meme there of just British or Ruby. Yeah, it got very and, grating, very fast. And Ruby, God, I fucking hate that. That's a meme. Yeah. I, oh, yeah, it's, they're all it's so cringy. <laughs> they all want Delta, Delta. They only want you to say how much you love Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're talking all about, right. like, Delta loves Ruby. Yeah, all man, right. Macho. Anyway, I, I, I will this. say this now, everyone. In a later podcast, I will talk about Ruby. All right. Anyway, Ruby not discuss- now. Ruby discussions later. Let's get on to Black Letters Jr., also known as Drew. Let's talk about you. Um... Hello, um, I'm I'm Drew. I started off following Rust on Twitter for something or another, and then all of a sudden he became my mutual, and we started talking more. And now I'm a mod in this Outlaw Dive server. I honestly don't know what happened. I think I just got lucky. Um, Dude, you literally posted one of the best Doom the Eternal track. memes I ever seen, and then I saw your other work, and I was it's, like, it's this dude is funny. Just... <laughs> literally the impact font text over the image of the three marauders i know but the uh, timing was just so great you just stole the opportunity you're like you know what fuck it i'm gonna do this and i respect that in a man i respect that yeah what the fuck it even got the to the point where, G- where okay, so, gianni okay, so, himself so, dubbed it and i <laughs> oh yeah he got gianni to dub it that's great okay so delta he made this i know meme. i didn't even ask him he just did it so delta he made this meme of like uh you know the marauders in doom eternal so there was uh, basically this very difficult mission where there was three of them, and then someone just pe- 
took this. Perfect- oh no no no! It, it, uh, okay, I remember. I remember what it was. There weren't actually three in the mission together at that time. Oh my god! Everyone's saying based. Hey Drew. Oh that Drew. It's you. Yes, it's me. I made that meme. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, That's them. So there, there, was, there, no were three, there were three marauders standing in like a little triangle. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. they were all like, they were all like looking really menacingly at the camera from far yeah. away. And I put an impact font. Uh, there is no meme. Die. And all of a sudden, literally all of Doom Twitter. D- <laughs> decided to pick it up and i now i'm somewhat unknowingly famous for it's, making it's just such a funny meme i know very it's kind of stupid but it's just it was funny it you, just took, you just you just it also <laughs> okay listen, yeah. it also <laughs> fucking hits home for me because <laughs> i hate fighting me for me for that good, comic guy it. yes i did do that that was me look in the chat log <laughs> Wait, guys, just look at the chat log real quick. The most recent message. <laughs> oh God, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, it's true. True. Anyway, they're literally eight eight being on stream. I, yes. No. yes. Anyway, so let's begin oh. to the next one. We bazaar. We baza- we 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 we. Don't we, worry, we, I'll we, get that in the introduction. <laughs> it's we bo z. It's we fine. Bo-Z. You can just say z. We bo z. Or we bo z. And then all or... of a sudden, it just. Anyway, let's. No, it's you, fine. Weebo-Z. I gotta figure out. I gotta figure out some other name that isn't Weibo or Zed. I All don't right. know. I'm not good at naming things. Come on now, uh, I'm a shitty. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yes, sir. Uh, I'm a shitty streamer and shittier writer. I fucking I'm working on some two things. We got a what is it? Ranchero Shogun, which is fucking work in progress, and we got a uh, Resident Leech, which is more of a work in progress. And then I haven't streamed in a hot minute because I'm gonna start working soon. But that's that's on the list too. Uh, I don't got much going on. I'm I'm not the most active mod. I'm kind of an active mod here in the Outlaw Dive, and I, I only really you're landed... very active in the dive. I think you're the most active. I only landed this spot because yeah. I was timely in DMing Rust, where he's like, "Oh yeah, I need mods for my server." I'm like, "Hey, I've got experience doing mod shit. I I was a mod on like the shitty fucking Pokemon competitive forum." for like a good year or something mm-hmm. uh i've been a discord mod on a handful of servers that eventually ended up dying for various reasons yeah so it's just it's a skill that i have it's not a very good one but i have uh, it oh uh, zed there is a person in chat asking to uh bear your child God, you oh didn't bring that up i was looking at <laughs> what i do i was looking at what i do uh i don't know uh no i don't lean uh hey, no no, maybe no. <laughs> mm, maybe, we were, we were perhaps no. Be on the that fence or say no. What are the other man? No, 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 no. No, maybe no. All right. Anyway, <laughs> right. but yeah, that's all. I, that's all oh, I've got to say. Right. I think there's something I forgot to mention about myself. Yeah, I write, what? although I don't. I don't. I don't draw. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, I don't draw for shit. Like if I do draw, it's like the most fucking childish garbage, oh. fucking known to man. All I draw is like vague monkey shapes, vague cat shapes, and even vaguer just animal, vague animal shapes. That's it. Yeah. Well, right. keep and... well, fuck, keep bad, you look better. Just do it. All right. And My finally, God. we have Taco oh. Birdo, another good long friend of mine, like Denta. Yeah. Taco Birdo, your yeah. boy Taco. Your yeah. Boy. So. Yeah, no, I've known Russ for a while. Wait, before. Before we continue, oh my thank God. you for every saying. Wait till marriage. Damn right. Correct. Yeah. And also, Fuck off, yeah, game. Yeah. I'll, no, he's right. Absolutely right. We draw your witch. I can't. I'm not gonna draw that. <laughs> Maybe I'll attempt. All right. I'm sorry. Continue. Taco, anyway. say your shit. Right, taco, time. Taco, taco time, baby. It's taco, it's taco Tuesday. Taco Please. Tuesday. Fuck! I lost my train of thought. Yeah, I'm Taco. Hi, what's up? I've known Russ for a while, which probably explains why I'm also a mod on this server. How do you more active? Um, I used to do a comic way back when. I was the writer working with two other artists, but over time that kind of just fell apart. So I am working on getting it back up and running again with me doing the art. I'm not the best at it, but I am trying to learn. I mean, dude, you've been doing a lot of good improvements. Like just seeing when you were starting to do all that, like seeing you where you are now, it's honestly pretty cool. I kind of, uh, around this time last year, when, like, all the lockdowns pandemic happened, I ended up losing my job, so I kind of became an artist out of necessity. Yeah. I was like, well, shit, uh, what other things can I work on while I'm stuck at home? Oh, I'll be an artist now. Yeah. So, I tried to develop that. I have the skill of pen. 
so I can start making my own web comic again. Yeah. This time with me as an artist writer and pretty much taking care of everything. Yeah, so you. hopefully by the end of the year I should have something. Yeah. Oh, you're Yo, so shout mean. Out Goy, shout out to Goy two eighty eight in the uh, in in the chat. I see Damn. you. You're a legend. I Attention, you, everybody in the audience. Yeah. There is a Goy two eight eight in the audience in the chat log. Great, man. Everyone's everyone I'm spam Goy two eight eight. Right, would anyway. a uh, would a uh, Mr. Tater Muffin please come and claim your brother? He's being a dumbass. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, anyway, Band. now that we've collectively gotten every no bit fucking shit. So anyway, these are all of our members currently for this stream. There's going to be a couple of other staff members that will come on interchangeably. We also have Abby Cadabry, the uh, voice actor that I think some of you might know. Uh, she's also a lot on here. Unstable Reactor will also be joining us from time to time. But for now, it's just the six of us. And also tonight, we have two special guests. We have Bonsai Head and Claylex, two of our Dive Approved. Now, what do you mean by Dive Approved? Well, we're going to be talking about that tonight. Just giving you some context about what the Outlaw Dive is. So essentially, one day, I had the idea of trying to make a hosting site for webcomics, but specifically for more action and hot-blooded comics. Essentially, more the kind of action type of stuff that we really don't see a whole lot anymore, or is not as popular anymore to host on sites like Webtoons and to pass. Now, that doesn't mean there's not action comics on there, but the, the style I'm talking about is uh, when you think of the words like a Trigger or uh, Super Robo or things like that, there's a, there's a certain... There's a certain feeling you get when you watch those things. It, it feels hot blood. It gets your hot blood boiling and things like that. Essentially, there's a lot of passion put into those projects that are not necessarily fit into the molds that a lot of romance or slice of life stuff. This is basically an outcast place for the outcast for the outlaw. Okay. Fucking shit. This is basically a place I have for a lot of action based comics because I want to see more of that promoted. But we also have other genres that we promote and work on here, but. We aren't unfortunately able to do a hosting service at this time. That's what well, that's like the end goal, obviously, but Yeah, we're slowly working on that. So essentially what the Outline Dive is in its Emphasis current state is essentially a, a magazine sort of format that I'm currently working on getting all set up. Essentially what will happen is we will have our dive approved, and I'll get to that in just a second. We will also have other comics being featured, ads for other comics, things like that. It's basically gonna be a nice little place for people to promote their work and things like that. Think of it like a digital Shonen Jump, essentially, but for webcomics. Well, Shonen Jump has a digital format to it now, no, but no, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, but a lot of people associate Shonen Jump still as like, you know, like for manga and things like that. It's the magazine you go pick up at the corner store, yeah. Essentially, yeah. What but, corner stores do you have? I've never picked up Shonen Jump at a corner store. Well, I mean, I've only ever gone to like Eighthway. Go to about Barnes and Nobles, you degenerate. Well, those are the volumes. But anyway, so back on topic. Essentially, that's the plan for this. And we're going to eventually work to a place where we can get an actual proper hosting site where we can have much more uh, to feature and things like that. So essentially, the magazine format is what we're going to be doing for, for now. But we're also having this Discord server to allow other people to promote their work. Uh, to get critique, uh, to connect and things like that. I feel like this would be a much better purpose of archival and uh, meeting people than just using Twitter or things like that. And it sucks because there's been a lot of other projects that have happened before. Like there was Comic Book Hour on Twitter, which I was a part of. And I think, Dustin, was that how we met? Was through Comic Book Hour or is it something else? No, no, we met through another webcomic collective thing called Start Fair. Right, Start like, Fair, yeah. That, that, yeah, five yeah, years yeah, ago yeah. now. Okay, yeah. Or maybe yeah. It, was, it, was like, it was like four, four or five years ago. But yeah, that's that's yeah, how we that's, met. That's it's also what also... inspired the idea to do the magazine was the Start Fair, Start Fair, which basically was an online magazine that actually was really cool for a bit. But the problem was just due to I forgot what the actual issues were that lets it sound full, but eventually it just, just stopped I, listen, it, working on it. The actual issues, I can go like I can go like talk to I can go like talk to the three people that ran it. Because I know all of them. We, we could have that be as a later thing. Oh, yeah. But the main thing with them was they ha they they were a comic collective as well. Um, people would throw their comics in and they made like a legitimate online magazine. No, yeah. Like and you it was, click it. It was actually really cool. They even had like online. They even had like a little uh, online competition essentially for what was the best comic of the year and things like that. It was actually somewhat of a thriving community and they would actually do uh book readings and things like that they had a little uh book club essentially yeah read web comics and things like that it was great 
Yeah, they had a yeah they had a weekly thing called the Comic Tea Party, which later spun off to become its own server, which I think died a little over a year ago now. Oh, uh, someone's pings are going off on the stream just real quick. Uh, I don't know if it's probably funny. not me because I've got my mute muted. I swear to God. everybody just set themselves to do not disturb, so like you yeah. don't get any notifications and they don't show up on the. Oh, no, it's probably server. Caesar or Rust. It's probably either me. They're the only ones. All right. Yeah, I just make uh, sure. Okay. I, put do, I put myself on do not disturb. Hopefully that shouldn't. I don't know why that was happening, but anyway. Yeah, the server muted too. Okay. So anyway, let's continue on. Essentially, now that brings us to the Dive Approved. The Dive Approved, essentially, when we had this idea of it being a web hosting service, was essentially like uh, our, quote, a original series thing. So it was basically the comics that would help represent the brand, essentially, what kind of comics we wanted to promote and things like that. Uh, we have a couple of the members on here tonight, as I mentioned, Bones Bonsai Head and also Claylex. A bit double, what does that yes. mean? Yes! Big uh -oh. dub, where are we seeing big dub at? Who's gonna uh, be in the in the chat log in the Discord? We got Hero saying, and Rust also sounds like a robot. I don't know why I have the oh, is... Is it... oh okay. Oh, Does um... everyone else sound fine then, or uh, is it just it... Rust that's being a little fucky? It might just be Rust that's being a little fucky since he's doing the broadcast, maybe, but I have like the YouTube audio, it's view. not intentional. No. Oh, no, yes, yes, it is. I no, it's not intentional yet. at all. It is intentional. it is intentional. No, okay, so... I don't know what's going on. Okay. It's to disassociate everyone from Rust. That way he's, like, on a different level. Okay, anyway, we'll figure out what that is all about. I don't know why... He's I keep reverting back to the robot persona. I don't know what that robotic effect is all about. I'm really sorry about that, but we'll fix it. We'll figure out what's going on. I have no idea what's Rust causing that. Robot, and this is why we're having an episode zero. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. This also might be the only live one we do. Yeah, so we'll do a better introduction, we promise. Yeah, I Mecha still Rust don't know why I sound this roboticized. That's what I don't get. The robot got some rust in his circuits. Shut up, Goy. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hey, robot. Like, I don't know if it's just because of like the OBS and how it's picking it up, but oh well. Hi, I'm Rust. I'm getting consumed by the getter. <laughs> I am in a villain of this story. I do what I do <laughs> because there is no choice. It's like Transformers joke or something. No, <laughs> I've noticed earlier, but I'm like, oh, no, maybe no one noticed it. It was just me. Oh, man, I don't know why. I don't know, I don't know why this robot thing's happening. Anyway, it's not like it's annoying or anything, is it? Or Nah, I thought it was cool. Yeah. Always like, from my end at least, you don't sound robotic, but... Yeah, to us in the call, you don't seems to be specifically from the broadcast itself it's yeah but i don't know mm. why that happened though but anyway we'll continue that's, on that's we'll continue odd. on anyway so essentially the dive anyway. approved is essentially just a way for people to uh, be featured mm. kind of like how webtoons and to pass do the feature uh but essentially they'll be kind of like repping the the outlaw dive and so far we picked five people technically i'm breaking my range just one six but i, I kind of don't even include that because it's kind of obvious that that yeah you just, you just kind of get in for free since you started the damn place yeah, and, and i'm just using it as an example as well but so far we've have selected five uh content creators to be dive approved and we're working on getting more people to rep the outlaw dive and things like that so essentially that's the plan uh that's one of the things and speaking of which we will go ahead and uh, would you guys like to go ahead and start hearing from what we have to say from our from two of our members today? Let's do um, it. Um, yeah. Uh, sh uh, should we bring them in one at a time? Yeah, let's bring them in one at a. Let's do one at a time. Uh, who do you want to bring in first? Bonsai okay. or Clay? Okay. Let's, let's go. Let's go alphabetical. Okay. All right. All right. So I'll go ahead and drag Bonsai in. All right. Go ahead and get Bonsai in real quick. Do -do -do. There he is. All right, Bonsai. Bonsai. Turn back on your microphone. You're in with us. Oh, hey! <laughs> hey! Alright, so this is Hello. Bonsai Head. You're yeah. live, wrestler man. What's going on? Right. This is Bonsai uh, Head. Oh, <laughs> trying to... uh, yeah, you can just call me Bonsai. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. This is Bonsai. I'm not picky. <laughs> this is Bonsai. He is the creator of uh, 
He, shit, Wasteland Wrestler DX or just WWDX. I'm I may so change the name eventually. I'm sorry for me. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Up. I was trying to say, but you know what? <laughs> anyway, yeah, he's creator of it's Wasteland. a lot of W. Yeah, he's creator of Wrestler Wasteland Wrestler DX. Uh, it's essentially a really cool series that is inspired by the likes of Hooked and Ken. I personally enjoy. It. I think it's really cool so far. Yeah, no, I. The only issue I have with it, it's not longer. <laughs> True. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I'm working on that. I'm working on that. No, it's fucking great. I love it. No, yeah, it's really good shit. Oh, uh, thanks. I yeah, see. it's. Um, I'm. I'm working on it. I'm. I'm kind of trying to develop uh, the world and the story more. I'm. I'm kind of setting up an arc coming up. So, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. And thanks for uh, for getting me approved. I really appreciate it. No, it's yeah, fun no to be worries, here. man. I think your style fits well, and it's definitely a really nice homage to the old days of very hype of like the old '80s manga and things like that. It's really cool. Oh yeah, no, it, it, hell yeah. Like it, like it, it very much has that feel of. Speaking of like, which, let's go ahead and drop that into the chat log. Uh, let's go ahead and get that in there. Do, 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 oh do, yeah, do. but like it's just like what a fist of the North Star. But everything is wrestling. Obaiwa. It's so dumb. I love it. Which is, which is the greatest it. premise I've ever heard in my life. Right, anyway, so I'm, I agree. That's why I came up with it. <laughs> it's really, it's really, Damn, it's, bro, it's, that's it's, crazy, man. It's really cool shit. All right, so drop in the link to the comic in the chat so people it's can just, see. It. What if what if Kenshiro was a big lady and like German suplex some dudes? Yeah. All right. So the only flaw that out of the way, is that how about we go ahead and get into the little it. interview thing that we're doing? So first things first, obviously, what exactly inspired you to create Wasteland Wrestler DX? Like, what was the the big thing that clicked and made you want to pursue this idea? Well, I mean, my biggest inspiration, just in general, tends to be seventies and eighties manga, especially you know, like stories of like these really outlandish, over the top characters going on like personal quests. Um, I like I, I like uh, characters who, you know, don't speak much. Like, they, they kind of show who they are through their actions. Um, I thought it was real original by doing, like, a post-apocalyptic world. I like that kind of, of setting because, you know, you don't, you don't have any governments or any kind of, like, power that can control, like, set up any rules, basically. It's like a yeah, free-for-all, which I, I really like the yeah, idea it, of. Yeah, it's, 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 it's very much the... It's very much the... I can hit you the hardest, so you listen to me. It, it, um, kind it, of, exactly. uh, it kind of reminds me of Samurai Jack in a way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah. Another, that's another like inspiration, like uh, Mad Max, Samurai Jack, Violence Jack. Um, yeah, these are all kind of settings I really enjoy. I thought it was original with uh, my post-apocalyptic world, but it seems to be a really popular thing. <laughs> I mean, it <laughs> but that's is. Fine. I mean, there's, a, there's a reason why that concept's so popular. Yeah. I mean, you got like this whole wasteland, there are no rules. You could basically create a brand new world with it while still keeping it related to Earth. It, it's, it's a very simple idea, but it's easy to create a world off of and then have people relate to it rather instantly. It's kind of like, it's just that easy. Yeah. And even better, I can have I can have some people be I can have some like crazy, crazy, insane like characters and villains, and I don't even have to justify it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in a world like in a world like that, you're gonna have your you know like what, what's fun about it, that kind of like like uh, there are no rules like it's, it's a free for all kind of kind of setting is that you know you can. Like you don't you don't have characters who are bound by laws. They can kind of it kind of shows like like hidden facets of humanity. But at the same time, my goal with DX isn't just to to play off of like oh you know, a lot of a lot of post apocalyptic stories end up being about like how terrible humanity is. But that's not where I'd like to go with DX. I'd like to show a bit more of an optimistic side to it in a, in a sense. Yeah, I get you. I get you. All right. So essentially. There was the inspiration for the art, but what about the process behind it? Like, uh, how do you, what, what programs do you use to make it? Uh, how do you usually go about the writing process? Things like that. Um, <laughs> my, my process isn't, isn't exact. I'm still kind of developing a process. I'm going, I'm still quite new to, to it all, but yeah. um, I use Clip Studio. Very, very good um, program. I know a lot of people use it. Oh, yeah, of, I use it as well. It's, it's, yeah. a, it's a top of the line program. Yeah, it's kind of the it's kind of the big one. And as for my writing process, um, I mean, it's all it's all about these it's all about the ideas. I tend to just go about go about my day, and my mind is constantly kind of focused on this comic, on ideas, on what I'd like to do with it, how I'd like to kind of expand this world in, in different ways. I write it all down. I I cook up some dialogue. Um, I try to have it be kind of concise because I try to do uh, twelve pages per chapter. 
so i try to have it be like kind of fast paced but i don't want it to go like lightning fast to the point where like it's hard to follow yeah um and then i get to the art process i you know i start my my like uh, mini storyboards i get it all set up and then um i kind of quickly move on to like the the main art i am usually pretty fast about coming up with uh panel layouts i'm satisfied with yeah i get that and like uh for me personally this is just something this is something we were talking about like in the other oct server and delta and i were talking about uh there's definitely it's pacing is a very difficult issue to keep especially when you're doing this for the most part on your own and you're trying to get everything out on your thing like while i have that yeah. as an editor uh problem is i do most of my comic by myself in terms of like writing an art yeah and... no there, there is a like, there is an issue as far as me and Rust, like, actually working together sometimes. Like, I'm going to be real, man. <laughs> there was a whole chapter you did not send to me at all. Yeah, the problem was, essentially, was, like, I got really caught up with trying to get stuff out because the coronavirus happened. Like, I remember, like, I, I was barely able to finish up episode 10 because all that stuff happened. And then I managed to get episode 11 out, but then after that, I was, like trying to get stuff out and it just lately it's been kind of screwing up the process so now we're gonna have to reset season two because the pacing got so bust up just for lack of a better word and a lot of people were like saying yeah this, yeah, man, is, I this get is getting it. to the point so it is, it is a very hard issue especially when you're working with a limited team and people expect content out of you especially in this age where we live where it's like they kind of want to see content more and more. Otherwise, they don't think it's continuing or something like that. Because that's just how it is, unfortunately. If you don't have enough content out there, then oh, people yeah. are going to drop off. I'm, I'm kind of lucky enough so that, like, I'm not I'm not quite well-known enough yet so that people expect anything of me. So <laughs> I'm kind of that, in that free zone for now, which is, which is pretty fun. Is partially um, I'm partially why you're here. This... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I like, I like, I like the attention. <laughs> <laughs> you whore. Uh, and... <laughs> hey, wait, you didn't say that in your last stream you said oh i don't care about attention <laughs> but i mean you know I i'm working on this completely solo and uh it's it's definitely a bit of a struggle it's kind of i'm lucky enough to have a roommate to like proofread what i do so to, like so it make to make sure it makes sense because you know i'll have like a whole a whole chapter set up and like it it makes perfect sense in my head but like someone will read it and say like like yeah that doesn't make sense um, yeah. that dialogue doesn't connect to anything so it's good it's good to have feedback no, yeah, and that's what. That's Essentially, kinda... I'm, I'm hiring for a team. Um, I'm paying uh, four cents an hour. <laughs> you will have no exposure, no credits. <laughs> yeah, already that's, have. That's, that's, um, that's kind of how Delta real and I quick. started working. What, what, uh, what's up? Oh, uh, uh, we got a guy asking in chat. Define reset for season two. I'll get. To I, I, I'm... I'll get to that more later. That's something I have to make a big. Um, it's, it, imagine explaining in detail, essentially. Essentially. Oh yeah, um, Rust and Secret gave me uh, the, the the secret to the the reboot. Basically, all the characters are gonna die in really gruesome ways. No, oh, every single one of them. Okay, it'll, be a, it'll be a massive. That's fucking and damn it! Why are there people the last, this before the last character? Who, uh, I, I can't spoil. I can't spoil who's the last survivor. But yeah, he's gonna go into a time loop, and then it's gonna start all over again. It's a cycle. The theme of you of, just, um, of are you are I really new game one is um the cycle of hatred in the world yeah so that's, yeah, that's so definitely it the reset like dark souls. Thing, the reset thing is i'm not resetting the comic <laughs> you are i is the dark souls of comics you are all is the dark I'm souls the of red comics I, I have to say that <laughs> it's a plot of stone ocean but yeah anyway so yo whoa 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 whoa, okay. whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 uh, anyway, i'm just joking so... i've already read stone ocean so essentially, the the reset. I'm, I gotta make a bigger explanation for this because if I doesn't don't like say it right, though. it's gonna pe people are gonna think like, oh no, he's rebooting the whole series. But no, I, oh, essentially, I've just noticed there's been like a lot of issues with episodes thirteen and twelve specifically. Episode fourteen's been pretty okay, but it's just been a little bit too rushed. And I decided to ask other people, hey, is this looking good? And they're like, nah, it's starting to look like this. Feels rushed, and just kind of confirmed my fears about it which was i am rushing this i am desperate for content but at the same time i was not wanting to admit it because i was worried about like that because i used to have this big problem i was resetting constantly so i was thinking like okay i don't need to feed it then that just keep going just keep going you can fix it later but now it's starting to the point where i'm like no this has to be fixed there's way yeah, too many issues yeah. i gotta reset that, that's a very that's a very indie comic kind of thing to, to reset it all the time that, that's something that's something every everyone who's no, going to yeah, start doing comics I, is going to have to face also think we're like, reset. with rust uh he's currently on like 
the third or fourth iteration of the comic third right or now. Fourth. No, dude, this is the seventh. Seventh? seventh? Fucking it's like, hell. It's like, it's All like right. Super robot. There's revolutions, you know? He's going to transform into something bigger and stronger. Yeah, it's it's and, ironic. Uh, it'll like, land on an unsatisfying cliffhanger. It's, Whoa, like, uh, uh, it's ironic because like, I came to episode 10, which was a big accomplishment for me because I was able to make it to episode 10. I kind of finished an arc that I was really wanting to try to get out and tell. But then coronavirus happened, and it basically screwed up things for everybody. And then I was in the mindset of, oh, I got to keep making contact. Uh, if I don't, if I stop, I'll, I'll need to reboot, things like that. But yeah. Enough about me. I'll make a better explanation post about this whole thing later. For right now, let's focus back on you. Uh, me? Yes, I'm you. Your You're the guest here. Yes, yes. you. Uh, the, the other guest is the so are going to be here practically I am the all the time. Boy. Anyway, so, uh, so let's, talk about, let's talk more about your schedule and things like that. So, uh, what made you want to... So, like, when it came to this comic... Um, when it came to this comic, uh, why exactly did you, wait? I already asked the kind of stuff, but like, sorry, I'm trying to, I'm shitting myself right now. To <laughs> come up with an answer. Okay, so um, it's fine. It's with fine. Comic, can I assume it. you love a lot of action stuff, but also, what, what genres do you love in general? Uh, are there any genres you're not particularly fans of? Uh, is there a lot of? Is this a genre that you've never really tested the waters in for? Like, just more about that. What are your favorite genres and things like that? Oh man, I mean, obviously, obviously, you know, action and drama are my my go tos. Um, I won't. It's not something that's going to be brought up at all in in DX, but I do like horror. Um, I haven't read that many all that many stories or comics or, or manga that was truly scary, but I I just love the atmosphere of it all. Yeah, uh, it's something I kind of want to implement in like future projects whenever that happens. Not anytime soon. I'm I'm really focusing on DX. Mm-hmm. Um, the reason why the dive approves like approves. Um, appeals to me so much is because it's not focused on the oh, my boyfriend is my neighbor BTS guy genre. My my roommate is a K-pop and also uh, he fondles he fondles my balls every night. That kind of stuff. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, Nothing wait. wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. Wait, like no, uh, I know, I know. G- genuinely, they're they're good stories, but they're not what appeals to me personally. In, uh, and that's why it's so hard to make on a webtoon, especially where it's such a like a prominent part of it. No, that's yeah. what I like about the dive. You know, Get a Robo, uh, Devil yeah, Man, so... these kind of stories. Those are my those are my go tos, and like it's kind of it's kind of great that there's a place where that's what it's all about. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping, hoping that I can get, get more people to understand. That's, that's what, what the main goal is right now is to help because some people have been a little bit confused about what it means to be hot blooded, but hopefully we can get that message out a little bit more soon. Hot blooded is a a way of life. It really is. Yeah, no, I as 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 a hype man for like a good chunk of of the fucking um, OCT server me and Russ are doing. Y- yes, Inject- it, it very much is Inject- a a way of life. Inject Ishigo into, into my blood. It's the idea. It's the idea of following your convictions and like just like blindly going towards your goals. Don't don't look back. Yeah, that's oh, cool. That makes going. Cool oh, yeah. Now when you get there, go further beyond. Oh, yeah. also, he's guys, like, please. What's, what's, chat doesn't like the echo and chat? the reverb. Right. I hate to interrupt, oh, but uh, real quick, chat. Is it just oh. Rust? the echo effect or is it all of us? Now? Yeah, yeah it's a... all of us now. Okay, what's going on? Do I have right? any echo on my voice? Oh yeah, tell me if my mic is is off or something. Yeah, uh, I'm on the call. You that. sound fine. Tell me but if this dress makes sh- my bum look clean. Uh, what for the uh, yeah, for, for the sec. stream? I'm gonna myself real quick so... and listen to the stream and see what's going on here. Yeah, yeah. same. Yeah, remember, I'm a poor college student. Um, my mic is um something I I, I picked up in a garbage can oh, outside my nice. house. I fought a raccoon for it. Oh, what? It's I literally like just rust. Yeah, apparently it's just rust. <laughs> It's, it's just what the fuck. Jeez. All right, that's or else to unplug and plug back in your headset. I don't know. Uh huh. You try turning that's it off. Weird. On yeah, it's it's very much just rust, and it's like it's like All the right. delay um, the voice is good? getting a little bit wider. Ooh. What? <laughs> Anyone want to see my Beyblades? Okay, is it sounding better now that I'm doing this or no? No. I'm just joking. I don't even own any Beyblades. I haven't had Beyblades in forever. Wait, Delta, are you saying no? That was, that was one of the, like, a few fucking things. 
I could just never get into Beyblades. Really? Was... I never yeah, understood no, I... Beyblades. That's fair. I've never watched it. I never touched it. I never smelled it. I did have a GameCube game though. Okay. I don't remember if it was, it was... good or not. God. Honestly, it, it, it was more like I just never caught the show when it was on, so I could never really get into it. Okay, so I have like a DVD okay. somewhere of like the old show, but hey. I'm like I'm pretty sure I'm one of the younger ones here. I, so I watched the one that was like on Cartoon Network in like the early 2000s. I fucking watched it. Right, I fucking so... watched the shit out of goddamn uh, Power Rangers and Digimon. Hey, though. It is my mind. Yeah, so... Oh yeah, Bakugan, that's a thing. Hey, oh, bro, bro. I still oh, have shit. Those. Now I we're going into in the so good, many good times for my Bakugan to school. Is my mic sound? Dino Thunder now? was a pretty I had, good orange. I like that one. I had so many Bakugan. At one point, we did a garage sale when I was like past the age for it. Uh, I made like like four hundred bucks, and they were like a dollar. Like they were like two dollars each. Holy shit! Dude, okay. I tried. You did I, not make your money back if they're two dollars. I was, I was the fucking. You know, you know the the like the, um, the black market guy from Resident Evil Four. That was me with Bakugan. Dude, you just I walk remember... on the playground. What are you buying? I got like seven <laughs> cups of Dragonoid here. You want an Aquas? Here you go, Wait mate. You want Darkus? And an Have you guys seen the new Bakugan? Those things are weird. They're still well, doing it? Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, they, no, they stopped for a bit, but like there's new ones. No, okay. I had no hey, idea. Hey, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna be talking. People are saying that Rust still sounds face. like a robot, even okay. though he's not speaking. <laughs> Rust <laughs> isn't Rust here, guys. I'm Rust is here. gone. In the voice Fake chat, viewers I can still hear him. Bum, guys, bum, I'm right bum, here. Bum, bum, Fake viewers. Wait, Rust is it? I nominate Delta to uh, take over the questions. I'm... No, guys, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, no. Uh, I'm right here. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm there's right no, here. There's no rush. I'm here all day. Oh, you're, oh, you're alive? Oh, that's yes, better. I'm alive. That, that's better, I think. Wait, yeah, wait, it sounds wait, good to hear you, man. God bless. I don't know what the hell happened. I took on my mic oh, and I plugged it back in and then was in the chat. I was still in the chat. Anyway. Mm. Right, okay, yeah. well, apparently right, well, uh, 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 these right? people are saying you sound good again. So. Okay, good. Finally. Jeez Louise. Okay. Let me just unplug it and plug it back in. Worked. I was right. No, what go. happened was apparently there was another audio input source that was causing the echo. Mm. Oh, they're saying yeah. someone else sounds like a robot now. Oh my god! No, please. Never Wait, enough no. Of these people. No, they're 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 probably they're probably messing with us now. They probably Bam. are. That's literally all I'm betting on is that they're just trying to say that to get a rise out. I think they're messing no, that's, with us. No, no, that's the, that's the con that's the secret to comics. Just don't listen to any criticism ever. Oh, true. Don't. No, don't ever oh, take yes, criticism. Oh, like okay, safe okay, space. Okay, okay, best okay, character. Okay, it's okay, gonna go forward. Okay, okay. Let's 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 reel it back in. Let's reel it back in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. That's that's fair, man. That's fair. Sorry for getting mad there. I was literally trying sorry, to get you guys' sorry. attention, but nothing was working. So, sorry about that. Uh, people are saying you're a little quiet though now. Ah, uh, for fuck's sake! It's oh my one god! The other, so where to? The good lord above. Yeah. It's never so, enough um, podcasting and things okay. like that. Okay. Does this sound better? Does this sound better? Please put a little. She says we sound fine. She yeah. says everyone sounds fine. Okay. Do, 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 right. do, 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 you know we could have been sorting oh, yeah, all this out like way, half an hour before we did this, but nah. I thought it was settled. Oh, the... <laughs> Goy, that was so fast. What the hell? Dude. Oh yeah. By the way, for the criticism thing, I, I was joking. I was joking. I wasn't serious. All right. Anyway. <laughs> oh, you did that so fast. Mention. On to the next. So. Okay. On to the next question. So, what was our last question? Because I. I am. I forgot. It, uh, it was about the writing process, yeah, and then yeah, that yeah, turned yeah. into other inspirations and things that just kind of spiraled out. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> all right. So. Yeah, it was about the process and things like that. All right. So, uh, what are your, some of your favorite artists that, since you're the artist and all that stuff, what are some of your favorite artists or writers and things like that that have helped inspire your comic? Not just the series, but overall uh, creator inspirations. Oh, man. Yeah, that's that's an easy one. My biggest inspiration is uh, Ken Ishikawa, the artist for Get a Robo, and also like a bunch of other great art comics. I love and his line art. I, I see. love the the way uh, the yes. way he draws like faces and expressions are are amazing. Yeah, uh, yeah he's my biggest inspiration. Going a guy, another one up there. 
Um, I really like um, um, Araki for from JoJo's. Um, his yeah. poses and, his, and he like he has like a really really great use of black and whites. It's something I kind of rely on on shading. It's something I want to work on. Just like stick it like just stick to those black and whites. Just, just do like the heavy pulls of black on, on, on. We, we no fucking shading, cause then when that shit is done right, oh, it's good. Yeah. It's good shit. I feel yeah, bad. Looks good. I feel bad, kind of saying, oh, Rocky's my inspiration now because of just what's happened to JoJo in terms of its like appearance and what it's looked like now, like how it's viewed by people, which is a shame because honestly, yeah, the, the fan really base is artist. yeah. He is. He like the guy is a genuine. Like he's genuinely really talented, um, and like he works so hard on 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 his like stories and on his art. And uh, people kind of take it for granted, but that's just what happens, you know, when you when you get really big. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's fine. Um, I also like um, a lot of of classic like sixties um, Marvel comics, like the Marvel House style. I find really appealing. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's simple, but like it, it always looks good. No, yeah, it's really nice. It's got that like that nice little fineness to it. It's very simple, but it very pops out a lot. It's definitely one of my favorite eras of comics. Yeah, especially um, John Romita, John Romita Senior. Hell yeah, boy! The guy, I love, I love his Spider-Man work. It's like some of my favorite in comics. I know it's classic, and it's kind of like you know everyone knows about it, so it's kind no, of no, yeah, like, but still, it, over, it, over it, it is for it, a reason. It, looks good. it is for a reason, you know. Yes, absolutely. And yeah, those are my main inspirations. I guess you know Berserk, like a lot of like the, no, yeah. the like classic popular based series. Fucking boat. We're finally free from the boat. It's I know of, they. Yeah. I know they left the boat years ago, <laughs> but now they're just fucking around on the island. No, I thought that's the fine. That's chapter, fine. They had some. They had some pretty good. Uh... Information on Skull Knight. Oh yeah, no, they on. are. It's just it, it's yeah. taking forever to get it out. It is what it is. And we is. got you know, we got penis demons. And that's always penis good. Buddy. Good lord. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> that was bound to come up. Berserk was mentioned. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna ruin this podcast. You know, sentence by sentence. All right, so what's been? It's either that or that or a horse. All right, so let's continue. Classic let's, image. Uh, let's wrap this up a little bit with a couple more questions. Uh, first off, what are your future plans for the comic? Do you have any more comic ideas as well, or is just, just your main focus on WWDX? Um, the thing, the thing with like coming up with new ideas all the time is that um, you kind of start like thinking about it more and more, and eventually it kind of overtakes like your main project. So I'm yeah. I'm actively trying not to think about new idea ideas, but. Um, before I was working on DX, there was this this big idea that I want to do. I consider it like my, my biggest goal, but I'm not there yet in terms of art and, and storytelling yet. So like DX is kind of like my the one. my break in in a way where like I'm I'm kind of like testing testing out what, what like my skills are and like improving. Gotcha. And um, I have a lot of ideas for DX. You know, I'm like I want to keep it going for uh, for a good while. I don't want to I don't want it to, to go for too long. I'm thinking. About maybe 150 chapters. Okay. I like to do. Right now I'm at four, so it's still very early on. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. And one final one. Uh, do you have anything you want to say to the, the fuck? Fuck. Do you have anything you want to say to everybody here before you go? Yeah. I mean, once again, like you know, this community, the dive has been really, really cool. Like you get, you know, you can get a lot of. Uh, of good feedback and you know it's just fun to shoot the shit with people and uh, i met a lot of cool people here so thanks for having me yeah and uh, i'm gonna keep drawing comics for uh, for a good while hopefully you guys you know keep going i know it's not you know it's not like a masterpiece yet but i'm planning on you know keeping to improve and it's gonna be cool trust me right well i can't wait to see what else you got more in the future we're all very excited for Um, that that, 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 wwxd dx (laughs) shit a big lady comic with a big lady comic the big lady comic but yeah we're very excited uh we can't wait to see more what you do we're happy to have you and we hope to have you more in the future on the podcast hey thanks all right hope you all have a good one all right all right see Uh, you guys see you see you you, okay let's go uh so yeah i was i was ready um he's gone i was screaming about play no he's here Clay's in the uh, other. He's in the green room. No, 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 no. In, in the chat log, he like 
five like f- like fucking five minutes ago he said brb and he did not say when he was five back, minutes so. ago oh no he was more he's probably back now okay. just put him in I, he's here, here. Oh, Dude, it was way more than five minutes ago just just ping him real quick see if he's all good and shit like that i'll ping him uh, all right yeah okay i dm'd him hopefully he responds if not, we can do some intermission type thing. Yeah, what well, should we there do? There we go. Did the... And, yeah, yeah, for the best um, we... Okay, there he is. Alright, bring him oh, in. Bring him in. Uh, speak of the devil and he shall appear. Bring him in. Bring him in. That, it was right. fine. He hey, is here. Great. Welcome, Hi, Clay. Clay. Hey, Clay. <laughs> oh, God. Hi, Clay. Alright, everybody, this is perfect, Claylex. Perfect he is, timing! He's another one of our Dive Approved, and he is the creator of Clayman, hero of the 22nd century. Yep. I got the century right, didn't I? I feel like I confused it with Duck Dodgers for a hot second there, and I'm really sorry. No, that's fine. Let's get the king in here. Okay, I'm not that much of a. I'm not. Okay, first of all, I've had some people call me a god, and I'm like, Dude, I'm not. You're literally one of the coolest members in the comic community on Twitter. You, you, you're respected for a reason. What people literally crap. It's when people say that I am, and I'm like, I just support people. I'm not that much. Dude, uh, you're literally like... And that's why people like you. You're a good, you're a good sport. This, you're the fucking king. Supporting people is a you're very... A good uh, yeah, you're, it, well, it's a very good thing to do. It's Because the comic community, as far as I'm aware, it's very small and insular still, so... Yeah, and you're basically like the keyton of the group, essentially. If you've seen Gurn the Gun, you're the keyton of it. You're the backbone. You help push everybody out. You're the one who's pushing everyone from below while other people are pulling from the top it's yeah. uh, you're, you're you're the gooey stuff uh, sticking it all together yeah you're the glue the glue <laughs> yeah glue oh. that's a word the yeah, i guess you could say you're the <laughs> clay <laughs> uh, 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 uh laugh at my jokes please okay <laughs> no <laughs> we will we will not we will not clap for you jeb not today Please clap. Sorry, we'll not your shit. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, that Wait, the way. is that uh, really good? Okay. How many times okay. have you watched that video? Uh, too many times. <laughs> Russ really likes that meme. It's just, it's a really fucking good meme. Okay, anyway, Clay. Okay, right. back on topic. All right, Clay, all right, let's talk about it. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your comic before we start pestering you with questions, right? Why don't you give us a, tell you, tell us all about what Clayman is all about. All uh, right, hey, so, Clayman here in the 22nd century is a... A futuristic superhero style comic book about a 16 year old kid, uh, what was it, Bobby Rob Radish, who becomes mutant. He gains mutant abilities and he has to use those mutant abilities to basically protect his city of Fatorica, Wisconsin, which is a fiction- fictional city, of course, but it's like, it, it's very, very cool in concept. Yeah. Uh, who has the deep Omai oh, Shinu voice? Probably either me or Taco. No, what? I think that was Caesar. That's that's Caesar. Omae wo shindiru. Omae wo shindiru. Yeah, the guy with the absurdly deep voice would be Caesar. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, we're back yeah. on track. <laughs> well, yeah, back to uh, yeah, uh so... future bullshit city. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Say that again. You you were talking about the city was taking place in. Yeah. yeah, it was in um, Fatorka, Wisconsin. Fatorka is a fictional city. I didn't really want to use a, a real city for the time because I was, like, inexperienced. So I just kind of, like, still did in the United States, but I wanted to do, a, you know, a cool concept for a, a fictional one. Mm-hmm. It's fair. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Wisconsin doesn't get enough appreci- appreciation. Appreciation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah Land of cheese. cheese. Yeah. yeah. I'm a cheesehead, but I'm not from Wisconsin, surprisingly. Well, <laughs> I'm from Jersey, so. <laughs> oh, boy, you're Jersey boy. Yeah. Oh, fuck. yeah. fucking Jersey. So, <laughs> on that note, uh, what are some of the inspirations for Claim Man? I mean, I assume, I mean, I know you personally, so, like, I, I assume, yeah. obviously, things like Marvel and DC, but just just for the sake of talking to everybody, well, what were some of the inspirations that inspired Claim Man? Uh, the top four in my head is, like, was or, or top five at least was like let's see there was the max my hero academia um spider-man spider-man 2099 batman beyond like that kind of stuff like definitely those futuristic um comic elements and then elements where i took um some of the costume designs and implemented it into clay yeah 
I get you. Alright, so, uh, is there anything else that really inspired the comic, like any particular superhero? I mean, like, you know you mentioned like Spider-Man things like that, but is there anything else that might have inspired the comic and such? Or is it mainly just based off of capes and it's basically an homage to cape comics? It, it kind of is like a, a homage to cape comics and then try to do a little bit of element of my own. Mm-hmm. I think like when it first started out, I didn't think it would evolve to the point that, it, it, to me, it was like, okay, it's just going to be like a run-of-the-mill, maybe 60s, 70s style comic. Yes, it takes place in the future, but I'm not going to go crazy with it. Then as it evolved, it basically turned into like an 80s style comic, and then all the way up to a 90s style comic with my current artist, Ivan Fiorelli. There is just something very dynamic what what he does with his style and what his coloring that I'm like yeah it's gonna turn into this now no yeah I'm... and yeah people I again if I say okay I make the god comments but so what Ivan he is a god he is an artist god because the way that he does dynamic posing and action it just it just makes people like really like go nuts over this guy and I'm like yeah his art is that good you're you're you've really got a good team set up here i'm really proud of you yeah i know like yeah people keep complimenting about me it's like where do you find these people and i'm like twitter discord the usual stuff i mean you dude, dude, you dude, you, you're, you're great when it comes to connecting with people that's one of the biggest things about you yeah it's just like and people say like how do you make these connections and how do you do all this or that just be like i just be nice to them i just be honest like again you make it sound complicated when it's really super simple yeah, think, wow you, we, not being an asshole yeah, I think we. Got that's it. that's another thing. That's another thing people say. It's like it's like I thought you'd have to be an asshole to get all this, and no. I'm like, no, no, those are just the assholes saying that. I'm the nice guy, so you know. You, you really do bring it in a better position, like because I know, like, because I was in so deep into the comics Twitter community originally, but seeing all the fucking hell, that was a bunch of shit show that would happen here and there, just like how they would act and how people in the industry would react to the comic fans and things like that, and just shit like that, and how fans would react to the comic industry. It was just back and forth, like everybody smelling each other's assholes, but not in the hot way, like literally just like smelling in the yeah. taint and then just getting it's literally a, smelled in the taint. It's literally like a dick jerker, uh, or like, I don't know how they call it, like dip, basically jerking Circle each other's dicks. That. Yeah, exactly. Circle Except Circle Kirk. 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 I fucking don't torture. know. Why are we talking about taint? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, what is, what is Why going are you on so here? back in for that one, man? <laughs> I, I will listen, 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 listen. Of, I was hungry. Of course, so the weeb zones back in when I, when, I when the food up. is being mentioned. Do we, I got up. Uh, do some you food like food? I'm hungry. <laughs> no, I'm hungry. All right, and I was making some food, and I got back, and I was owning back in. And then all I heard was, is it Russ? I don't even remember who was saying. It was something about taint and then, like, <laughs> dick trick. You know, I'm like, what the fuck did I come back to? I was just very confused, <laughs> right? Yeah, but anyway, so, essentially, yeah, it, it's just, it was a very, not exactly a good community, but the, Claylix has always been, like, one of the best members of that community. Like, he was always the most understanding, and, like, admittedly, I wasn't the best at it either, but he would actually, like, try to talk to the opposition more frequently and try to understand them more, and it led him to get into this comic, which is really good. Yeah, there's, uh, yeah, speaking of, is like, again, once again, a lot of people are surprised that I'm friends with so and so group, and then other so and so group, and I'm like, because I don't try to like poke at what makes them like overly aggressive towards. I mean, I'm literally that. I don't know. I guess I'm a cockroach, if you want to say it like the co- the good, the good, the good no, comic cockroach the, the, because the I kind of slink. Cockroach, the Wally cockroach. The yeah, one, the I, but I'm not even, like I'm not even. I'm not there to hurt people. Up Twitter, will you be dead? I'm not there to hurt people. I'm there to support them. Is the thing. No, yeah, but that, that's what's always been great. Uh, but so anyway, back on topic. Bum sniff. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, back on topic. That, 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 yeah, yeah. Right, mm-hmm. So you're not the artist for it, but essentially, let's talk about the writing thing. So for your writing process, what's your normal writing process when it comes to Clayman, essentially? Um, I use usually um this... Um, I use Blambot, and then I use this thing where it's a, a basic comic scripts. I just read, like, it's almost like a manual. I just read it every time I write my scripts, and then that's how... It um you know goes from beginning to end and then like uh I I use like a, a program to check my editing grammar and then you know um and then after that it just goes to my my editor and then it goes to my proofreader. Mm-hmm. 
So when it comes to your writing, do you usually come up with the ideas like for the episodes like on the spot? Like, do you usually know what you're doing, or do you usually take some time to plan it out? It's uh, in the beginning when I did the first arc of Clayman, which I did finish and got edited. Um, I basically pulled it out of my ass. <laughs> And then, like, but but it's kind of strange because by issue two, issue three, my editor was like, "How in the fuck did your writing get so good?" And I'm like, "I just kept going, you know. I kept I researched, I kept going, and then like that's how it is." Even my proofreader, who's like really really good, he even he checked issue two, and I'm like, he said the exact same thing my editor said, and I'm like, mm -hmm. "Hey, I I don't know, you know. I just I just pulled it out of my ass." Yeah, I get you. God damn, man. Guess you got to be doing something right if both. I know, that's, I know, yeah. Yeah, but this dude's really good when it comes to this kind of stuff. Uh, so on to the next topic. Uh, so not just the writing process, but another good question would have to be, like, how do you stay motivated to keep writing, essentially, when it comes to this comic? Because I know this has been going on for a good bit. Um, a few factors, like just mu uh, uh, music is really, really a good motivator to keep me going. Um, video games, movies, um, trying to like garner money to get um, more pages out for my comics. That's actually, you know, so then I'll, I'll stay, try to stay ahead of the game, you know. I mean, right again, right now I got the first arc of Clay finished done maybe have my proofreader look at like um issue two for six uh later on this year but another than that it's like yeah that's how that's like oh, my main motivators to keep going man claim is gonna be so fucking sick when it's like all prettied up and in comic visual novel form i know yeah because i'm like it's it sucks that like you know it takes a while for those pages and i'm like i wish i could do for my my other projects but uh Right now, it's like I, I I just have to wait, you know. Like yeah. unless people give me money, then I was like, I, that's that you only be getting claiming, unfortunately. No, yeah, totally one at a time, it. unless you can fucking turn into Merryweather. Oh yeah, well, dude. yeah. <laughs> wait, was Merryweather just? Wait, listen, Clay, Clay, listen. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. But, yeah, you go. You. Okay, me. All right. Uh, okay, so Clay, yeah. listen, listen. Here's the play. Uh, Melinda Gates recently divorced. Here's what you gotta do. You gotta have a battle plan. You gotta secure that. That's infinite. Oh, oh god! You've ever wanted. That's Clayman Volume One through like infinity. All right. Oh, well, Jesus, come on, why? Get, get, a, I got... get a piece of the alimony. Well, get it. First off, it's like if I'm gonna be well, if I ever did marry Melinda and get half the money, is like first off, I need to support my family first and foremost. That too. I need That's to help them out. Have yeah. You'll have plenty enough to spare. My There's my pa my parents and my brother are gonna be crying if I was like, yeah, I married Melinda, oh, yeah, get the absolutely. money, I'm gonna help you out. Yeah. No, yeah, I'd do that too. I'm gonna help my entire family out. Extended yeah, family, I'd you got some that. money. Grandpa, yeah, grandma, you got it. Yeah, but Little then kids to take care of, you got them. Everything else goes to Clay Man. Straight up, uh, what is it, Clay Man? Yeah, you can like, oh like, yeah, you want a comic series? Boom, there's some money for you. Go for it. You want some promo pieces crossover with other characters I like? Boom, there you go. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the thing. That, it's funny enough, that's a thing too when I first started out, and I, I, I slowly regret it, but I don't at the same time is when I tried to like cross over with everybody. No, yeah, I remember trying to like, get like uh, fucking, uh, Jack Irons, uh, the, there was Celtic series. Oh, yeah. Uh, there was my yeah, series. people. I, it's funny. It was like my friend um Robert, who does a comic, uh, Tom and Artie, He was like, he was the only guy, and you know, politely, he was like, "Oh, uh, can you please not cross over with me because I'm like, people might think that you're making a legit comic with this, and it's like, it might like overwhelm you too much." I'd be like, "I understand, you know." So I like, I kind of scrapped it, but I'm still doing that crossover idea with my characters and my brother's character oh, yeah. so like you know stay tuned for that <laughs> with whenever it comes out yeah another thing uh the landry very good point you can marry rich men too you're right mr gates <laughs> mr bill gates might be lonely he might need a homie in what these trying can i can what do you have to offer me make a second identity can I, get them both I was, I was gonna say, it's like, can I marry? It's like as a joke, but can I marry them both? I am bisexual. After all, so. There you go. I'll just there make a go. second Ooh. legal identity. Yeah. You can do it then. You go with Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, drink a potion, and then pretend to be a man and a woman at the same time. And be do like, it. yeah, I got Bill, I got Melinda. 
group. I got the gates all the money. Microsoft is in my pocket now. (laughs) But anyway, yeah. But anyway, uh, uh, going back to what we were talking about. Yeah, we should do that. <laughs> yeah. All right. But yeah. So another question for you then. Uh, so uh, we talked about series that have inspired you, but let's talk about specific writers that have inspired you and your creative ability. Uh, there have been any key uh, uh, writers that have really influenced you in terms of writing and things like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's like my friend, my friend, obviously Robert Livingston who writes Tom and Artie. My friend Cody who does Jack Irons. Um, my friend Carl who does Death Sworn. My friend Brad who does Changeling. Oh, man. Oh, um, gotta get, we gotta get Carl in here, dude. That dude's fucking awesome. I used to talk Carl, to yeah, Carl. I know people people don't like him because he's certainly he's part of eh, it's like that group. But I'm like, look, man, don't let it fool you. He is a very very nice guy. No, he really is. You know, he actually makes some really good comics. It's kind of like with Vaughn. Like Vaughn, I was like, God, he, I yeah, he Vaughn's is a little bit of an asshole. But like, I read his, I read. I read Monster, a Monster MD, MD, and it was, like, fucking yeah, really dude, good. Dude, dude, I told you. I was like, I, can, I, I don't know if it was me. I, I don't mean to get off track, but I'm like, dude, I think I was the one that told you, dude, you got to you got to read this. You get so inspired by it. You might, you know, you'll love it. No, <laughs> Please he, love it. He, he, he legit made a really fucking good book there. But, I yeah. know. It was like, and I'm like, I got to get that artist, too, to do one of my main comics, because, like, she is really, really good. Yeah, like, very... Is. Hot blooded dynamic shit, you know. Yeah. Uh, so another, for that, but back onto the question. Uh, any other yeah, yeah, yeah. on there? Any other writers that have inspired you as well? Um, I think that's that's about that's about it for now. I know mm-hmm. I've I know I've like inspired other people to write and draw others, like at least four or five other people. But other than that, it's like yeah, those are like at least my top people that um you know inspired me. Mm-hmm. All right, so final question of the whole fucking process and things like that is a little, yeah. essentially do you do you have anything you want to say to the audience before we head off on all this stuff or um you know just just follow um my Twitter you know how it is Quailix <laughs> if you do want to support me <laughs> I, I gotta if, get in <laughs> yeah like just uh no, real full you know? really good <laughs> yeah. It, it, obviously, I always keep saying it on my Twitter. Follow my pin tweet. Like, if you check my pin tweet, I have all my links, the financial links. You know, help pay me to put out more of this content. I got the free stuff. There is something I'm working with my boy Nicholas. We're gonna get out another new comic in the summer. You know, claim in cross demon hunter Raven with two. It's gonna have Power Rangers and Kaiju no. and all this no. other cool stuff. No. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's like Fall Nicholas too. He has a it's cool character. It's already the best version of Clayman. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Big question. Big you. question here though. Can can Clayman beat Omni Man? Oh, yeah. Good question. Uh, in his current in okay in his current state, no current <laughs> quote quote. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, devilish. Could Clayman beat Goku? But could Sorry, beat oh, Goku? Okay, if for real. <laughs> Okay, let's see. If I was being serious, if I was being serious, maybe in the future. <laughs> he's not even like clay. He's not even clay. He's not made of clay or any sort of wood. That's impossible. This can't be real. <laughs> That's uh, again. That will be answered in issue four. Is like, even a question? Now be answered. Me. Yeah. That would be answered in issue four. Okay. <laughs> Someone right. put in chat think clay man think. Think, Clayman, think. Can you really beat Goku? <laughs> can Rust beat Goku? Dude, Rust, can you beat Goku? Yes, I can. <laughs> Fuck the... Okay, but wait. What if What if he gets the go-kart? Can you beat him then? Yes, I can. Clayman beat Clayman. Um, good Ooh, question. Good question. Uh, yeah, what if... That... It, okay, if there's like an evil Clayman, would original Clayman be able to beat him? Spoilers. Um, oh, uh, of course you're doing evil that's, play, man, with nineties <laughs> comic so vibe. It is the <laughs> rock awesome. man. <laughs> yeah, Mud. Clay man. yeah, clay man versus mud man. And, yeah, so, I knew someone was gonna say that. Can he beat Ben? And I would say no. Yes. I mean, to be fair, it's kind of like putting them in like a unstoppable object meets in a move. Uh, yeah, that's what I was gonna say too. Yeah, like, can it be like, unstoppable? Get ready for the death battle. Ben is, ben is that's what this is now. Basically, Ben is able to regenerate the concept right, and then there's also the phenomenal install. So there's that. It's Why like, don't you just call it, but, it the, the phenomenon stall? 
<laughs> Phenomena. Phenomena. <laughs> oh no, no. <laughs> Man, we are a group of intellectuals. We are like, <laughs> only the truest yes, intellectuals. Yes, indeed. We, we, we only have like, highbrow like, humor I, on this every, podcast. Every time, every time Clay starts talking about his connections or like actually something relating to writing, I can feel my brain cell count like rising. But the <laughs> yeah. moment everyone else starts talking afterwards, it just drops back down to what it was. <laughs> exactly. so, like, Good, we're Clay keeping you in check. An, That's Clay the kind of way. Way. like an intellectual level. Meanwhile, we just go back to just staying like fucking. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like. I mean, we gotta fill time somehow. <laughs> It's like a professor at Harvard teaching to a room full of monkeys. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, okay, people, actually, that's a good question people say, too, is like, how, a random question, but like, oh, can Meeps keep um, Clayman and other original characters alive? Yes, they can. It's like, the thing is, we gotta wait for artists to actually draw it, and then it'll garner the attention, you know? Like... <laughs> I actually okay. have one more so question. So, I know, yeah, 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 go. I know that Image Comics ha is opening for submissions and shit like that. Are you planning on trying to like get them get uh, Clayman with Image? Because I know they allow you to still keep your all the property and things like that. Allow you to have creative that, license. Again, shit. yeah, that's a good question. I think for now, I'm just gonna stay indie for you. now until I feel confident. Until I feel confident that um, you know a publisher can. Like they said, like, oh, I keep the property, do this or that, but, you know, uh, just something to, like, um, I feel confident I can still keep the money going to where I can, like, um, do my main property for now. Yeah. And, it'd be, again, it'd be nice to, like, um, get some money on the side, get some art art to my other comic properties so people get interested in those properties, too. Yeah, I get you. And then here comes the Q&A of people asking, oh, what are your other comic properties? <laughs> Okay, so you're secretly part of you're secretly part of the shareholders for Invincible. I, you know, it's like for as I mean, much as um, be. for as as much as I hang with a bunch of people that don't like Invincible because all oh, the violence ruins everything. You know, it's too overly violent. I'm the like violence. for the superhero for the superhero aspects of it, it actually does it pretty well. It I mean, does, and, from, <laughs> and like from what I've seen, it just handles the violence realistically i mean if you, if you wanna if you wanna bitch him on it's like too cynical then it's like i point to the boys there's the boys yeah, no, yeah, the boys <laughs> is really oh like, yeah no that's that's, that's so game. much worse there's like invincible there's something to be said in like a proper for it's... comic adaptation like if it's a dark thing like well superman was evil it actually makes fucking sense and also yeah. Yeah, it does yeah, because thought and care the, put into it. I mean, the, I see Poe talk about it all the time on Twitter and comparing all the versions of Omni Man and shit like that to actual versions of Superman and the power scaling and shit like that. Yeah, the thing, and, uh, the thing with Invincible <laughs> is that um, it doesn't like insult you for liking superheroes like something like The Boys would do. No, yeah, uh, it, it, uh, it embraces has, its always has, It, yeah, it doesn't embrace the like. Alan Moore one bad day thing where <laughs> every single character that goes through like a, a single bad day in their lives is all of a sudden a massive asshole. Everyone is surprisingly optimistic no matter what's thrown their way. And in a sense, through all the trauma that all the characters are going through, everyone is sort of invincible. Mm -hmm. so yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like... <laughs> And I was gonna say, wax, not to wax philosophic for a couple seconds. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Oh yeah, and Clay, you answered that pretty quick. But I was gonna say, someone in the chat asked, as someone who wants to start a webcomic of his own, where do you recommend I start? Yeah, what what would you recommend for them tonight? Yeah. Uh, Clay, the oh, it's you go, you go. Oh me, I don't have anything to recommend. I'll, oh I'll sorry, oh sorry, sorry. I said, yeah, I said tap tapas is pretty good. Uh, webtoons is pretty good. Um, let's see there. Though, uh, obviously, as a warning, that like your original format of your comic, you might need to like slim it down or you change could, it you because could get away you know. With it more on to pass technically, because it, it's yeah. Easy. No, you can you can get away with it more there. Though webtoons, despite oh, it being like the biggest site, they you you, you do kind of have to conform. You, you really or have to do vertical. You were going to be yeah. in a mm -hmm. weird niche spot for people who they're solely there just for the comic. Mm -hmm. Cuz personally, I'm 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 not a fan of the webtoons format at, yeah, at fucking all. Either. 
I mean, yeah, it's like we, um, it's we, done we, well. We, it's we, done we've extremely always well. Traditional comics right. and shit like that. So obviously, we're not going to take too well to doing vertical, but yeah, it, it's just I... it's just the beauty of paneling. It's kind of gone, and when they do try to mess with it, it from what I've seen, <laughs> it turns into like, oh, here's this big vertical, like this big. We we took this big horizontal piece and just put turned it, it vertical. Yeah, that's my biggest issue. And as you're like scrolling vertical, down, it's just that those horizontal shots you want to make, you can't really make well unless you flip it, and then it kind of makes it look a little bit awkward. It's it sucks. Yeah, it looks bad. And if you're on mobile, which most people are, you flip your phone to look at it. Oh, it just flips to because the it it just flips back to the orientation because yeah. gyro. Yeah, unless you did like the whole screen phone lock thing, but yeah. All right, well, thank yeah, you. yeah, you could just do that, but yeah. how many people are really going to go through the through like ten seconds every time of just clicking that? Yeah, true. Yeah, most people aren't because of the tiny inconvenience. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for coming on, Claylix. It was really cool to have you and talk to you again, man. It was really cool having you here. Uh, I can't yeah. wait to see more of what you do with Clayman for the Outlaw Dive. We're really excited for that. Yep. All right. All right. Well, thank you for coming on, man. I hope you have a good evening. Mm -hmm. Yep. You too. All right. Stay safe, man. God bless. Okay. Bye, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'd say this has been a uh, Matt Comics. Pretty. It's been interesting. Good. Uh, premiere. Yeah. It's yeah. Pretty... Hey, uh, Ryan yeah, B. Yeah. Uh, I, you're not getting anyone with that. I know what you're trying to do. In the chat log, this this man says the comments about vertical format do not apply to Sakama because it's invincible. Series. Sakuma. Who's Ryan B? <laughs> He's the creator, creator of Sakuma. Of no, no, oh, I know, I know, but like, the, the, I, oh, I thought he was trying to make a, a Sakama dick joke, and I was. Oh, he that is yeah. B. Oh, is he not? No, that's a series. Oh, oh no, that's, that's a series that you updates. Ryan, I am so sorry. I just put you on blast in front of all these people. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, man. I didn't mean to do that. I will bend I'm your entire series. I'm so sorry series. as well. Well, there's, a, well, there's on, another reason. Well, you know what people are going to do now? They're going to go around joking about uh, Sakuma balls or whatever. <laughs> you you <laughs> <are> Sakuma <laughs> notes. Just for that. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. I'm really I'm sorry, sorry, Ryan. Ryan, I'm really sorry, please, Ryan. please DM me the link to your, to your series. I will. I have to I will draw. Everyone it. who made Sakuma balls jokes has to draw Sakuma now. Or a character. Just, from just, how about you just don't? And we forget this and move on with our lives. I'm really sorry about that. We, man. Could, ju we could just do that. I'm sorry, Ryan. But Ryan I'm, so I'm really sorry. sorry. How people meme in the chats and such. I legit thought it was a joke. I am so sorry, man. I am so sorry. Please DM me the link to your web comment. Yeah, a good <laughs> bit of the a good bit of the chats. Link teaming. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. That was really cool. I'm really um, sorry. Thank I'm you very terribly, much. Terribly, terribly sorry. <laughs> well, what a good first episode. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's a good yeah. one. I love too. Like we had a we we were pretty strong through it, and then we looked like fools in the last episode. <laughs> no, that was mainly me yeah. that caused yeah, all that. I'm really yeah, that was, sorry. Yeah, that was I knew what was being talked about. Oh, I knew God. knowledgeable. I know things. I was just like I was trying not to get got, and because like everybody else, saw, I think like twice people tried to do the whole little ligma or sigma dick joke, and I was like, "Yeah, oh, yeah, it's understandable, but it, it's just, oh, oh, oh shit." I'm sorry, Clix, I forgot to link. I, this is why we're doing this as a test episode. In Crusader, in the YouTube have the man I, I send like, it in the fucking that? in the chat now. Then it's fine. Let's mm. Get the link to all the stuff posted in. The YouTube and the chat log over here in the server. Oh, fucking oh, hell. Rust shaking my head from glue. Yeah, I know, as, as those of you can tell at home. Yeah, we uh, we, we came into this completely prepared, didn't we, guys? I was prepared. I was prepared. Yeah, we've spent all day rehearsing. We, we have a script in front of us. We did this whole... Script. We, did, we did this whole... Uh, Podcast and yeah, it says it's played out. Uh, right, right. Um, it's learning the sock a bit. That was that was a joke we planned with Ryan. <laughs> it was all it, everything was uh, premeditated in this. 
And I think we pulled it all off perfectly. We made it all up. It was fiction. I mean, this was premeditated Pure like fiction. GFK. It's not uh, real. Well, we made it up. Uh, do we have anything else we want to discuss nope. tonight? Because we haven't, we didn't really set up a proper Q and A for all this. So, True, we didn't. No, we didn't. So, no. with that regard, um, those of you listening in the Outlaw Dive server, in the chat log, you can put some questions that we can try and answer for the next podcast, whether that be live or pre-recorded. Yeah. So oh, yeah. put Dude, all your know, questions put in the hashtag, qu- hashtag question. No, fuck me. Put it in the channel questions. It's under the catalog of Outlaw Broadcast, which I think might actually be the proper name for the podcast. Yes, but, you know, for, so- for, 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 for those of you in the Discord server, if you're just on the YouTube listening in, um, join the Discord server. I'll put the Discord, link. The yeah. Discord. I'll put the Discord link here soon. I'll yeah, no, we'll, we'll throw the Discord link soon. Oh, also, someone says discuss the popularity of Mongo for Western comics. I think that could be a good topic yeah. for a dream. No, yeah, yeah that sounds like a great topic yeah. for its own podcast that we should research before we get into it and no, don't yeah, make yeah, asses yeah. of ourselves. Look, while it's easy to just say, oh, well, Mongo better and stuff, there's a lot of variables that go into both the genres and things like that, like how it even got to that sort of point. Besides Which just- is why I say... We should we, which is, if we touch it, it's going to be later when we've done some research. Yeah, when we are not just trying to fucking do a test. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, I was, about to, I was about to say something. Uh Oh, if you've got, like, specific questions for people, like, just don't add them. Oh, I mean, I'm cool being added, like, you're mentioned. But just, like, put, like, four... Whoever you're asking that question to, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna if you're gonna ask a specific uh, question to a certain person, you have to put you have to put two like Rust or two Caesar, yeah, or something like that. Yeah, I could go or ahead and answer ask, this because Lizard asked real the quick. questions, but yes, there will be more dive approved comics. We're just working on a way to get the proper process going more and things like that. Yeah, no, we just. We just want to get things more up and running before that. And I saw another question from a uh, from from a different Ryan in the YouTube thing. Uh, the Outlaw Dive server is not just for creators. It's literally it is for just anyone. For, yeah, yeah, if you just want to read yeah. comics, yeah, because we have a whole big section of people to update uh, the comics. Enjoyers. You can just go there, look through the catalogs, be like, "Oh, that looks good." Start reading. Yeah, right. You don't have to be a writer or an artist or anything. You exactly. just come in here, pick up a webcomic, have a good time there, kiddo. Exactly. Cause look at me. I can't draw. I can barely write. I'm barely literate. But I'm still, I'm a mod. I'm still somehow there. Yeah. So you don't need, you can just join to join. I have no comics experience under my belt except for the promise of one that's going to come out in the future. And I'm still a hey, mod. Hey, Rust, how I'm is like... the selection process going for voices? All right. Rust. Okay. That's put, you. Uh, that, you that's, have the stream set as you had the stream set as unlisted this whole time. No, yeah, I fixed it's it. Fine. it. Should be back oh to public God. now. Should be back to public. Okay. But anyway, we will talk about that later. Again, that's that's a separate thing right now. Yeah, I'd rather have all of my stuff for UIR, my personal projects, d- answered differently. This is specifically I want people to ask about the Datlaw dive for the people inside of the dive, not necessarily me. But yeah. Yeah. No, anyway, this is these right. Are- I have questions, or if we announce a special oh, guest, you can ask oh, questions to the guest. Oh yeah, that's another thing. If you guys have any people that you want to have come on to the Outlaw Dive, we could talk about trying to get them on board and things like that. We would love to have some other guests on here. Yeah, I want to, or maybe maybe just like creators in general, we could try and get people on. Yeah, exactly. Like I already know, like I just, I, I think we talked about pre-stream, but what is it? I DM'd uh, Merlogic, Mister Wonderbread. Yeah. If he's interested in sometime joining us in the future. Oh yeah, we talked about having a Linkara. Yeah. We, <laughs> on uh, legit, legit. I know we meme about him, but I actually would love to have Linkara on the podcast. I think he he probably would I actually would. It's just a funny prospect to me, no, so. He probably wouldn't come because he knows we're going to be doing like Linkara impressions. Like, he probably knows. <laughs> oh, yeah, he hates that. Yeah, yeah he yeah. hates that. Oh, Talk, dang. Matt. Are you going I mean, to shit? We'll just have to not then. We have to be on our best but... behavior then, I guess. Yeah. 
No, but for real, I would like to have uh, okay. on here. I think he's a well respected comic like reviewer, and I think it'd be cool to have him on here, though. It, 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 it would be very cool to have him on, yeah. I think it would be a little bit too much for him, though, even if we didn't do the impression, so that's the other thing. I mean, but as a maybe he, he's a connoisseur of comics, no, so maybe we know, get him I here. Know, for but like the way act. we act and our energy and things like that—that's what I mean. The much part. In, in considering it's six dumbasses sitting in the chat right now, uh, that is a very reasonable uh, answer. Yeah. And then just like, I, am, I don't know if we could ever get Chris Chan on the podcast ever. I don't think. Oh my god! If we could get Chris Chan, I, you know, I would rather not. Man, have him on at I all. wish they didn't break up. I would fucking love to have the creators of Tales get strolled on here, like genuinely. Oh god. Oh god. Action coaster. Yeah. Oh, poor Tales think. get strolled. All right. Anyway, so is thank you one... everyone for coming. Is uh, the Alan Dive going to be questions can be asked. tuning in? Yeah. You scam a rod up, bro. Dude, don't even tease about dude, that. Dude, don't man. fucking tease it me. Actually, don't tease if me. If we somehow could. Oh, no, there's no Japanese. Japanese. Don't tease about that, bro. None of us speak Japanese. Look, hello, sir. How? Welcome to the Outlaw Dive. Oh, we I'm would sorry, not be able speak. to speak. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, I'd probably just end up saying the one Japanese word I knew. Then I'd devolve into Spanish and Norwegian. <laughs> And then the root of it all, Latin. Then, then Latin. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, uh, uh, that's, Crimson, it. that's it for you tonight. To join the server, for questions. Yeah, but anyway, and some of your questions were actually answered earlier in the stream. Sorry, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm just, I'm just answering. No, it's okay. Like it's okay. I think, I think the uh, Discord, like he, I think in the beginning of the stream, Rust was talking about how for now we're trying to move it to more of a newslettery type thing. And the website would be like the final project, final end game that we're trying to go for. All right, I'm yeah. done now. Yeah. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining us in this little test stream. We will be doing more podcasts in the future, just not immediately. We're still planning if we want to continue doing it live streamed or if we want to do it pre-recorded, things like that. We're still working on that. But we at least wanted to do this to help promote the podcast and to help promote the, the Discord and the whole project itself. So if you're interested in the server, please come visit us. Showcase it to everybody else. We're really wanting to try to make this more of a big thing. And me and Delta and the whole crew, we're going to be working on this more. I'm going to be working on the newsletter, and we're going to get some content out here soon. We hope you guys enjoy the stream, and God bless. Say goodbye, everybody. I'm going to Bye-bye now. Let's go. I'm shitty. Bye. Right. I hope you all have a good night, everyone. Right. Thank you for joining.